What's up, Crate Nation? I am Chris Kelly. I am Adrian Jensen of ProductionCrate.com. Adrian, do you know what I like to save? I don't. I like to save turtles. Sure. I like to save penguins. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I like to save time. Oh, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? We have our very first official After Effects script, the Type Crate script. This is only available to pro users. Right now you can be a pro for just $49 a year. Whoa, is that it? That's it. Well, you know, before this script, we had to manually move and position characters from the type kits to create words. And that was a really tedious process. We decided to change all that nonsense Nonsense, so the type crate script was born. You can download the type crate script from any of the type kit pages. For the type crate script to work, you also need to download the bundled type kit. The script will work with any one of them. After you download the script and the bundle, you need to unarchive the characters. These are archived as RAR. Windows users can download WinRAR or another free software. Mac users can download Dr. Unarchiver or search the Apple Store for any other of the many free unarchiving tools. After you unarchive the bundle type kits, install the script. Windows users can find the script folder in Program Files, Adobe, After Effects, Support Files, Scripts. Mac users can find it in Applications, After Effects, Scripts. Just drop the script in there and launch After Effects. Inside of After Effects, go to File, Scripts, and find the Type Crate script. Launch it. How pretty is that? It has our logo on it and everything. Aww. Let's click on that pretty logo to navigate to the folder where you unarchived all of your characters. If you want to use a different type kit bundle, you have to do the same process again and select the other folder containing the other characters. The swap random color switches the random color spectrum generated. We'll go into more detail later on that. Let's set the scale minimum to 100 and the maximum to 120. And we might as well keep these parameters for the position and rotation as well. You can always go back and adjust these later if you want. I always click this reduce spacing for thin characters checkbox right here. Letters like I and numbers like 1 will look better with less spacing than the wider characters. When you're happy, and I am, then hit done. Next, we can use this slider to set how many lines of text we want. The script isn't case sensitive, so you can just type it however you want. The space width refers to the spacing between words. I'm just going to leave that as is. Spacing refers to the space in between the letters. We may want to adjust this depending on which type kit we're using, but I want to go ahead and generate the lines first to see what they look like before making any adjustments. And the uh, tracking is similar to spacing, but it's different. I think it's more like kerning, but I usually just mess around with the spacing option, so feel free to mess with the tracking option. The typewriter feature is really great. It lets your characters type on so they appear one letter at a time. I'll set my typewriter duration to three frames. So below that, you can check what you want to randomize using the parameters we set before. You can randomize the color, the scale, position, or rotation, but I'm just going to leave all of these unchecked for now. Hit generate. And you've created something magical. I'm using the hand drawn type kit here. In this case, the letters are all black, so I'm gonna change my composition setting background to white so I can see them. The characters in this type kit are pretty wide, so there is some overlapping happening, but otherwise, everything else is looking pretty good. I'll just change the spacing to 300 and generate again. If you can't see the names on your nulls, click on this source name button to toggle them. The control null is how you can move all of your lines at once. If we move that around, and change the scale, we'll see that our text all follows. Each line has its own null, so we can use those to move the lines around individually. The individual character's control null lets you adjust the individual character's position. If you really want to fine tune your title, this is a good null to use. Let's explore some more features with our latest type kit, the Meltdown type kit. Go ahead and click the crate icon and find the unarchived Meltdown kit folder. All right, let's randomize the color and the scale. These letters are less wide than the other type kit, so I'll move Move the spacing way down to 100. Hit generate. I like the overlap with this type kit. I think the overlap actually looks pretty cool. I agree, my dude. I think it looks pretty sweet. Let's use the nulls to position the lines and text how we want it. Bada bing, bada boom. It is that easy. This script is really fun to mess with and come up with your own unique and custom looks. Let's just mess around with these settings to make sure we didn't forget anything. Let's swap the random colors. Let's increase the maximum randomness for all the 
parameters and let's check all the randomizing effects and generate. So this isn't exactly a look I would use with <laughs> this type kit, but these settings might work well for a different type kit, like maybe the ransom type kit. Play around with it and get the look you want. There's so much room for customization here. We're using this script every time we use one of our type kits. It should save you tons of time as well. And penguins. It will save you tons of penguins. <laughs> so one last thing I want to note, this script automatically sets a loop out expression for all your characters. So if you want your characters to stay on screen longer, you just drag the endpoint out and voila, bada bing, bada boom. That is so useful. Thanks everyone and enjoy the type crate script and make, make it, it awesome. awesome.